My name is Natalia Berlinskaya. I am a teacher in Ukraine. Once a week, I used to gather the ninth graders into a circle around the classroom for a special prayer. Victoria, you start the prayer. I asked to the 15-year-old Victoria. She looked at me with big, round, scared eyes. How? She said. How do I pray? Begin like this, dear God. That's how I should start, Victoria said. Yes, say that, I said. What next? She asked. Ask God to bless us as you just read in the story. Victoria had just read a story about how the sun rises every day and shines on all people, good and bad. The story had said Jesus shines his love on everyone, every day, and Christians also should be a light to all people every day. Dear God, Victoria said, help us to be good students. Help us to be a light. Victoria wasn't the only child who was scared to pray out loud in the ninth grade class at the Seventh-day Adventist school in Busha, Ukraine. Four of the seven children in the class came from Adventist families. Victoria and the two others not from Adventist families were not used to praying. I wanted them to pray and experience the power of prayer for themselves. After praying the first time, Victoria wasn't scared to pray again. But her best friend, Ruslan, refused to pray. I am scared to pray, Ruslan said. I can't pray in front of everyone. I prayed for Ruslan in a special way. Then Victoria fell ill with an ear infection. She didn't come to school for a whole month. All the students were worried about Victoria. I was worried too and Ruslan was especially worried. I decided to have a special prayer every day for Victoria. Everyone prayed for her but Ruslan. One morning, I announced to that Victoria would have an ear operation the next day. I called the students to stand in a circle for prayer. Who wants to pray for Victoria? I said. I want to pray. Ruslan blurted out. Everyone was surprised. Ruslan also was surprised. What did I say? He asked. The children bowed their head and closed their eyes. Dear Jesus, Ruslan said. Bless Victoria's operation. Help her not to lose her hearing. Heal her and help her to return to our class. Amen. The operation was a success. A few weeks later Victoria returned to school. God hears all our prayers, especially the prayers of children who are scared. We shouldn't be afraid to open our hearts to God. We can pray anywhere and anytime, and God will answer in ways we cannot imagine. This quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help my school construct its own school building in Busha, Ukraine. Currently the school borrows classrooms from an Adventist college, and your offering will help the children meet in their own classrooms. Thank you for your generous offering today for our two mission projects, the Adventist School in Busha, Ukraine, and Zayoksky Christian School in Russia.